ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Honcast.com. This is it, cycle number three. It all comes down to this year. Good amount of money on the line, good amount of points on the line. Definitely a lot of pride on the line here between these two teams. Thank Lion you. Esports Club taking on Stay Green. It is what a, what's going to be a best out of five. Of course, Lions will be up one game to nothing as a result of coming from the winner's bracket. First things first, though, on Break CBK. I'm joined once again by Sender of Internet Gangsters. As my co-caster, Sender, are you excited? Oh, Break, yeah, I'm really excited. You know, uh, Lions had the upper hand in the last time they met. I want to see if it's different this time. I think uh, yeah. SG will put up a much bigger fight, and I, I really expect the series to go the distance. I cannot see a... Uh, an, an end of this day without at least going to four game or three games, but I, I expect four. Yeah, yeah, you know, again, it's a best of the five, so technically only and hypothetically one game's been played. We always kind of go over that, but anyways, maximum of four games. It would not be surprised me too if it goes the distance. We were talking about that, and uh, I mean, just the way the cycle as a whole has been going. We were just stressing in the previous game how there's been an insane amount of best of threes that I've gone all three games, so. Why not the Grand Finals, right? Why not the Grand Finals of Lions versus Stake? And another thing real quickly, I did a straw poll of who who, who thought, uh, who, you, who you, the community thought which team would win. It actually ended up being a very, very even poll. Lions was 51%, Stay Green was 49%. So kind of goes to show you as well, the community, right. not too sure. It's a very, very even matchup oh, and very exciting. I personally didn't get the chance to watch that initial lions Stay Green match. But, you know, again, from what I heard of Beef, it was actually Lions looked pretty good throughout most of that series. Um, and uh, they could have even done it in 2 nothing. apparently. It ended up being 2-1, to one, but I'm sure Stay Green has that fresh in their mind. But Stay Green's been living on the edge this whole cycle, Sender. And so <laughs> maybe going to live on the edge <laughs> once again here in the Grand Might Finals. But, yeah, exactly. So anyways, we're moving along here. Let's talk about this game itself. We got Scout, uh, Prisoner, Pebbles, and War Beast as far as the initial bands. Tempest going to be the first pick. Engineer the response. Lodestone, and then Ophelia coming out. What do you see so far, Sender? Well, I think Lions is a team that just they don't care if they're first pick or second pick. They don't like playing War Beast. It doesn't fit their game plan. They hate playing against it. Yeah. So they ban it out. And Pebbles, they just don't want to play. Against, they don't want to give Kyle Pebbles, Cinnamon Pebbles. So their bands are just really like. They're team style targeted and player targeted. They're not like, oh, they let Lodestone through. They don't care about banning the OP heroes. They just want to ban their targeting heroes that they don't want to play against. Yeah. You know, Lion Esports Club, Prisoner especially fits them very, very well because it seems like, you know, Super KGE, he comes from a background of playing Devour. And in fact, speaking of that, Devour is going to be picked up here by yeah, Lion Esports three. Club. So there you go. They got that on top of the Lodestone Tempest. He's good with Devour, man. He's good with Devour, so I'm sure they're happy to have that over there on their side. Rally was the final pick coming over here for Stay Green, so. You, th you think Devour is worth picking up, though, at this point? Uh, I don't think that was a good pick there, yeah. honestly. Like, look at the Hellborn's mid lane. They have Engineer Rally, most likely. That's going to be one really hard lane to kill. You have a tanky support, then you have a Compel to deal with. And even if you hook someone, there's a high chance they can just turn it around on you. So, the Diva pick probably would was not worth it here, but we'll have to see and see how it plays out. Yeah. Banning phase moving along here. Keeper and Nymphora Wild Soul going to be coming out here. I will say this much. I mean, the the benefit that State Green has had, as, as odd as you can call it, of uh, playing so many games here in this cycle because of the best of threes going all the way and even getting knocked down to the loser's bracket unexpectedly. They've gotten to play a lot of games compared to even the first two cycles. So they've got a lot of tournament practice here going into the grand finals even, a lot more than usual. So that's something that they also have kind of going for themselves. Of course, Lions, though, they're coming off a big victory over Team USA yesterday. They were down one nothing actually in that series, and they ended up coming from behind to win both Game 2. And of course, game three. And Hanskin made the point. I got to interview him after. He was his team was. They were just super excited, uh, making the point though that even though th that win got them into the grand finals, they were more excited about the state green win from the uh, from the previous week. And I also got to ask him the question: Which team would he rather face, USA or state green in the grand finals? Hanskin said, "Yeah, probably probably USA." Well, unfortunately, they get a rematch against state green right here, so they got that uh, that to deal with now. As far as this match is concerned, Pyromancer and Master of Arms coming out. And now we got the final band coming out here. For State Green, it's going to be a Luna. So, a couple of support yeah, options. Yeah, just there. Um, something uncharacteristic so far about State Green. They've fallen in the past. Yeah, they dropped a couple of games, but usually they recovered immediately, like right after that. And they went on to like, keep 
uh, holding their winning streak. Yeah. This cycle, as you're talking about earlier, is just not uh, evident of that. Maybe it's some cracking, but I think it's mostly just other teams stepping up their gameplay. Mm-hmm. Corrupted yeah, I definitely think it is that corrupted coming out hmm. here. Um, it's definitely a strong hero against uh, heals and tanky heroes. But the, the only weakness so far of their lineup is they don't really have a, re- a good setup stun. Like they sh- they have diva hook. They're relying a lot on the diva hook right now, especially with a a carry with no crowd control. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Definitely going to be uh, relying on Super KG playing that Devour. To lance up big hooks, as always. But again, he's going to play the hero. That's why they pick it up for him. So I'm sure he can come through. But uh, response here from Stay Green. Again, already with their Ophelia oh. Rally Engineer. There's the Bubbles. Bubbles. Just something to note about Bubbles is you actually can't take cover the Conduit. Yeah. So when it's so. channeling... It's a pretty big deal. You can, it means if you uh, you have to use your shell surf to get away in a lot of circumstances. So mm-hmm. it's a highly inefficient use of your mana in the matchup. Yeah, that's interesting actually. So yeah, I cannot uh, cannot take cover to remove the conduit. It has to simply just get away like everyone else really. Um, so what support? Well, I, maybe Glacius would be good here. I could see torture just for more damage and AOE with impale. Mm-hmm. I think the setup ability with Glacius would be good with their lineup, though. They're, they're lacking quite a bit of initiation with the, without, like, landing a hook. Glacius. Yeah, all right. Then go Glacius. Yeah. Glacius definitely makes sense, especially with that middle matchup of uh, having Devour as his partner there, perhaps. So. And you're dealing with Rally, so it mobilizes are always nice. So yeah. When you get the level 4, um, what is it? Ice Imprisonment, that is a 3-second uh, immobilize and disarm. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Do you ever find yourself using the ice imprisonment defensively? Has that ever really happened? Uh, like once or twice, and yeah. it made a difference, but it's rare. <laughs> More so as a troll tool. Not only do you have to have that leveled up in time, mm-hmm. is you have to have the farm and you have to be in position to actually use that in time to actually mean anything. Because yeah. if, if you're not there to use it before the damage is done, then you're doing more harm than good. Yeah. So, probably not going to happen here. No! <laughs> Mage Bane is really good in this circumstance because he, A, you have a hero that can blink away from Conduit, so he can enter team fights in and out and not get punished by Corrupted Disciple. Plus, mm-hmm. it's a really good 1v1 against the Lodestone because, you, you know, you burn him, burn his mana and then Lodestone has no turnaround capabilities to kill you. Yeah. Let's get it on. So, the Mage Bane pickup to finish things off in the hands of, I'm guessing, Chessie. Yeah, Chessie going to be playing the Mage Bane here. For Stay Green, so that's what game number one's gonna look like. Again, lines up one nothing coming in. As a result of coming for the Winners Bracket Finals. So Stay Green gonna need to, for the first time so far in season two, come from behind. And uh, in the grand finals here at least. Obviously they won the first two cycles. Uh, both of them pretty handily. So here we are, into the laning phase we go. As far as the lane situation, probably don't expect too much out of the ordinary here. When it comes down uh, to it. Let's see. Just looking at items and nothing Jeez. really peculiar. Uh, Bubbles has pulled regen. Rally is not. Uh, Mage Vane's pulled two sets of regen, so they yeah. really want to win their short lane. Uh, they did it because Jonas has actually pulled regen, so they want to have more regen than Jonas does, so good for them. Uh, Tempest with the safe starting items in case camps got blocked. He'll buy some more items later. Mm-hmm. About to pause coming out here. But, uh, but yeah, talk about all that pooled regen on Mage Bane, so really making sure that he's going to have a good time up there. Of course, going to be going up against Lodestone, most likely. Jonas the Fan currently at the bottom side, but, uh, you see, no, no aggression re- really going to be coming out in the jungle here, so he's going to eventually make his way back up to the top side. Limp's just going to wait patiently, playing the bubbles for his opportunity to get that ward of sight down in the process. Yeah, he has two wards, so I think they're going to camp block like as the creep wave is spawning, as heroes go to the lanes, yeah. and maybe if they're lucky, Tempest will be greedy and see, oh, they didn't go into my jungle, they're not warding my camps, and then he buys his items, and then he can't like counter ward the camps in time, so we'll just have to see how that plays out, but you know, potentially Hanson could have be on three spawns if uh, the cards go in the favor of SG. So, and when you're, yep. 
And when your Tempest is on three camps, that means he'll be farming just as fast as Ophelia, so it's always a good thing yeah. for the Ophelia player. Yeah, Ophelia being played by Minots here, of course, for Stay Green. Their go to jungle player. What a cycle this has been, man. It's kind of funny. Hellborn has three players that have played jungle sometime in their career. Yeah. Who's that? Actually, four. So Little Mons was actually our original jungle player in SGTY. Was he? He was. Yeah, I remember he was playing Tempest back, like back when like he and Fly started playing Tempest, like yeah. when it first started coming out. That was a while ago. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was like two years ago. Right, like, two years ago, I think. Jeez, a year yeah. and a half ago. I, yeah, I definitely do remember that though. It does stand out. <laughs> Well, all of them pretty familiar with the jungle. And Limp's the brother of one of the best junglers ever in Chessie, so... I'm sure he's... He knows what he's doing as well. <laughs> in the jungle, so... Let's see... Let's see how these uh, wards develop. Right now, Tempest still not uh, being greedy. Ooh, um, a lane ward mid by Seal Kid, they just want the high ground vision, which is a pretty smart thing to do when you're playing a Devo lane. That way, the the... Like the support doesn't have to sit on the hill if they want to see high ground vision. Yeah. And he can be a little bit further up to follow up faster and to get more auto attacks in. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that'll help for Devour there. And it looks like Lacey's is starting bottom. I think they're just going to zone him out for a wave, give CD a huge advantage, and then he'll rotate mid. Yeah. Or maybe he'll just rotate mid right away. <laughs> Well, saying hello to Bubbles, as he was, uh, it was more so just protecting the ward, I believe. Mm -hmm. You see Limps coming back in right here. But Tempest clearly is not wanting to get down the ward of sight. <laughs> and he's not going to let him do it, so well played right there. He's going to get some uh, nice uh, farm to start here as a result of that. Bubbles will eventually make his way in there, of course. He's still sitting on both of those ward of sight, so right now no vision on the map for Stay Green. But he's going to get those down eventually here. Um, vision isn't really that important as long as you play around the things you have to know, play around. You play around the rune spawnings, calling out your lanes, playing around the jungler timings. It, it vision makes it easier though, that's for sure. Yeah. Requires quite a bit more teamwork if you don't have the wards up. I kind of wonder. No, never mind. I was gonna say I kind of wonder if uh, they almost expected an aggressive pseudo trolley to come out here by the lions. But, uh, but never mind, that no, would have made too much not, sense. No, not yeah. with Tempest. That would have made too much sense. Lump's gonna reconnect right here, it looks like. Quick lag issue figured. But, uh, but yeah, I just see that mage been all the stacked regen. The two sets of tree eaters and the health potion. Does he really need that much against Lodestone? I mean, it, it, is well, there a point where you could maybe put that on somebody else on your team, or...? He has, well, he bought one tree eater, and he, so he's basically pulled an extra set that you're used to. Mm -hmm. but basically, they want him to have more region than Lodestone. They want Mage Bane to have 400, about 370 GPM out of laning phase. And in order to 100% secure that, you do want two sets. Maybe one set is a little bit unnecessary. Yeah. But And they could have maybe put that on Swiddle Mills, and he could have got two more minor totems. But in this game, they felt it was more important for Mage Bane to have one more set of, set of region versus uh, Swindle Melons having two minor totems in the mid lane. Because mm -hmm. Ophelia doesn't really need the gold. He'll farm a little bit slower without, you know, say like a Bassy first item, but you can't go Bassy first item nowadays. And if you can't go, if you can't start with that, then Ring there's... Of the Teacher. Okay. Ring of the Teacher. Break. If you can't start with Ring of the Teacher, there's no reason to not pull his teammates gold. Yeah. It's I'm sorry, I use Haunt terms no, and Dota terms. I, when I play and yeah. cast at the same time, I, I always it make confusing. it confusing. No, I, I personally, I, 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 I do think it's funny how people overreact and like, I could care less about using Dota terms, like BKB, obviously. Because there are some that just are I think that was just better. better. But, yeah, <laughs> but and, and there are some like BKB that people just know anyways. But Rick Basilisk, I mean, people may not know that. So. Yeah, that one's a little bit less. Yeah. Just clarifying. I right. has really bad spawns right now. Look at all the camps. Vagabonds, uh, Wild Hunter, Vagabonds, yeah. one of the camps blocked. He had a good start, oh, starting creep, but this, this is just really unfortunate right now. Yeah. He's uh, going to be forced to do this Vagabond camp, but he's going to stack it, actually. Get the triple yep. stack here and see what it, see what the Han gods give him here. Probably be another Vagabond. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be very nice in this case. Oh, middle lane. Rally's actually in some trouble right here. He compels away. Oh, the nice hook from Super KG. That's why they picked this hero for this guy. He hooks the window melons in, and that's the bloodlust kill. Obviously, Engineer was off getting the double damage rune. 
I wasn't looking at the lane, but it just looks like a huge mistake by Swindle. The lane was pushing in, his support was missing, and he can't, you just can't afford to make those mistakes. And uh, it, the, the game goes on, but just a big blunder. Yeah. And again, it seems like I say that a lot, but uh, just a really nice hook by Devour here by Super KG. To guarantee the Bloodlust kill, so so the Melon's like, get back into the lane, what's done is done. Just continue to farm in the process. Slightly leading that creep farm. You see Ophelia trying to make the best use of his time. He comes in with the Skeleton King. <laughs> Again, he's not having the best farm because of the camps, but... Um, we'll see if he can get an opportunity here. It doesn't seem like they're playing too far up, though. I mean, Glacius and Devour are playing pretty passive here. When it comes down to the positioning, here we go, though. There's the jump with the compel. Devour takes the kicks on Skeleton King coming in. The Rot's gonna go up right here. Devour randomly hooks an Engineer right there. Maybe trying to deny himself. Not gonna happen. Swindle so Melons will get credit for the kill. So, execution. Working out right there for Stay Green. Yeah, a really necessary kill. Uh, they couldn't allow uh, the Diva to keep snowballing from that first kill. Yeah. And uh, just looking at the bottom lane, Pew Limp's not doing too bad. He's just a few creeps uh, under Pewee. And uh, I think Jonas is doing a pretty good job in the top lane. He's actually winning top. He's heavily out CS in Chessy right now. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at down there? 15, no. Oh, top, yeah. Wow, 16 and 4 compared to... How, however, there are like two creep waves coming into the tower. Oof, bottom lane. Bubbles nearly gets taken out by Peewee here. Playing the Crow of the Disciple, but Limp's able to shell surf away in time. But that goes back to that conduit that you're talking about. Eight charges. It's a lot yeah. of damage. Yep. He, he actually went to the Song of the Sea build, which is pretty... Um, it's a mana build in this circumstance. He wants to try to win this lane if possible. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you did talk about how the conduit doesn't really... Or the, the tight uh, cover doesn't do I mean, you that, can still but... dodge stun, tied. Tied, yeah. Yeah. That's true. And, um... Is that... Okay, so Pewee only has one point in the conduit. If that had been a rank 2 conduit instead of a rank 2 tie that actually might have... Or rank 3 tie, that might have actually been a kill on Bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of the unexperienced CD players, they don't max the, the conduit, but you should almost always max conduit. There's the hook on a rally. Rally has a compel though, so you see all the freeze come out. It's a little slow though. Ideally, you want to freeze him before he compels, of course. Get some extra damage on him from the rot, but in the end, he compels away in time. Gonna be fine. Always annoying to play against a Devourer though, I'm sure. Especially oh, against as good a one like this. Uh, uh, Jonas might fall in the top lane. Yeah, he's in trouble. Mage Bane putting the auto attacks. Ophelia's coming in, trying to chase with that Vagabond, but not gonna be enough. You see the Vagabond's gonna fall back with him, so... Bottom lane, it looks like actually Bubbles being collapsed on, and Limp is gonna end up falling. He already shell surfed. Caught that kinda halfway through, so I'm not sure what he shell surfed. It was just a creep wave or something, but... He got caught by Tempest there. That's a big kill at the bottom lane. And, um... SG are actually kind of in a bad spot right now. Mage Bane is, uh... <laughs> Ophelia! Yeah. <laughs> He just oh, doesn't no. even try to run it like it. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna get as much damage on you because I'm not getting away anyways. <laughs> just stands uh, look there. At, I mean, look at the gold graph. Everyone's under 300 gold per minute. Mage Bane's suffering. Ophelia's suffering. Yeah. Really bad spawns. Bubbles is kind of where you expected him to be. It's a really rough matchup. And, uh, just the game's not going out how they wanted it to go at this point. Mm -hmm. Pee Wee, new to Lion Esports Club this cycle. Obviously, replacing Flensmeister on the roster, and I think the results kind of speak for themselves. It seems like he's been a pretty nice addition for them here in the Grand Finals, and as you stated, looking pretty good so far in game number one. Top Rune is going to be picked up by Rally. Uh, he has the bottle with full charges here as well, so he happens to be invis. See if he finds an opening. He's not level six yet, but could very likely hit that point if a couple creep kills happen down here. Bottom lane, Pubbles again, forced to use that shield surf away. Pee-wee's already level seven down here. And he's now 310 gold per minute, so continuing to have a pretty good time. Uh, Lotzone's level 6, he has a bottle, so he's refreshed his mana, so he might try to get a kill on uh, Chessy in the top lane at some point. Yeah. Let's see uh, if he finds that opportunity. I mean, it is Mage Man after all with that blink, so not the easiest, but at the same time, it's Lodestone. I mean, look <laughs> at his HP. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Jeez, the head smash just dropped him. Once he goes back to base and he comes back to full bottle, he's just <laughs> he's just dominating the lane. Like, I love he it. Just, he can't do anything. Yeah, he just runs up, head smash, runs away. <laughs> and Matron's at half life because of that. And it's so little mana cost, too. Jeez, 60 mana cost for that ability. 
So much damage. Devourer is looking for another hook chance, perhaps, but Creepway's causing some issues. Kind of playing on the uphill there. Not level 6 just yet. Neither is Rally, though. Talked about that earlier. Rally's going to go in right here. Kex down connects. Guess what? Ophelia's joining the party as well. Minotaur is done. The Fortune Lord putting in auto attacks, and Minot's on Ophelia. Will get credit for the kill. So, again, it's just about timing right there from State Green. And Ophelia's continuing to play active, as you always like to see from your Ophelia. Great gank middle lane. Well, you know, they, they just had to win middle of this game. There's. Oh, rap. Wasted uh, ultimate by Lodestar on the top lane. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they had to win mid. Bottom is a, a sure loss. There's not much bubbles can do in that matchup. And the top lane, Chessie's just getting outplayed. I, I'm. The thing is, Mage Man burns his mana, but Lodestar has a higher. Uh, base damage, so it depends basically what creeps does Ophelia you get. Yeah. Oh, actually, Rally might be in some trouble right here. Double damage on Lodestone, it is. He gets delivered something for the Courier. It looks like he finished a Steam Boots right there as he was dying, but that was just going for the top rune right there. Lodestone happened to get it in front of him, and all of a sudden, Rally found himself in a tough spot. Again, Galatius with that freeze, hard to compel with that. And they turn it around, so Lodestone being very active here. It seems like uh, seems like Jonas a fan. It's had a fantastic start. You're just kind of going over how he's having a great time against Mageman at the top lane. And now he picks up a kill himself on the roam, so... Yeah, stay green. Definitely not uh, definitely not connecting right now as far as their, things are going for them. And on top of everything else, you got Tempest. Hanskin's looking at 330 gold per minute. Top lane, Mageman, a lot of pressure once again. He's going to be fine. Bottom tower, it's going to be close. Can Bubbles deny this? Slith goes out. I wonder if they're going to get some teleports. The Legion uh, knocks no. down Hellborn Towers! Oh, that's... Oh, Ratley's here. Okay, a cup builds out. There's just another Tempest. Seismic slam to drop him. But look at the conduits adding up. Yep, conduits adding up. Six charges now. Seven charges. He has an electric tie coming up in three seconds. Nine charges. But he can't get close enough in the end. Hmm. It... That's just coming back down to the level two conduit, to be honest. But yeah. uh, not gonna talk more on that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this uh, Ophelia game, though, I feel really bad for Minus. I like I watch those spawns, and there's not like there's not much you can do with that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just get bad RNG, and this is just one of those games. And he's he's had a lot of impact in the middle lane, but yeah. his farm could have been a lot better. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, yeah, obviously, even room top, obviously, they didn't get the kill in the end, but he's definitely been active. He's trying to make the best use of what he's got, but... <laughs> obviously he's had again. an impact. His farm yeah. was just lacking, and that's it was pretty much out of his control. Yep. That's that's part of uh, picking up Ophelia okay. specifically. That That's the RNG factor. Ooh, Tempest teleport top. He has the yep. elemental void. Oh, Engineer running right into them right here. Head smash. He throws out the kicks out. Ophelia's touch comes out, actually. Engineer going to be fine for now. Oh, the tab is all the way that catches Mageman. As soon as he blinks, his Shadow Storm's going to be big right here. There's a Shadow Storm. Ophelia's dropping the head smash to finish her off. But now Lowstone, he is exposed. In comes Bubbles. No more support for the Legion team just yet. Tempest will end up falling. Corrupt the Disciple ports in. A little late right, though, and I don't think it's going to matter in the end. Oh, jeez. That could have been a lot better for Lions. But in the end, stay green. They do get the gun Tempest. They did lose Rally and Ophelia, though. In the big Rally picture. died in the middle lane to the Devo, uh, yeah, okay. Glacius combination. But, um, in the top lane, they, they went for the Tempest over Lodestone. I'm not really sure which one is the better kill to go for, but definitely that was, in the top fight, that was a good trade for them. One for one, they forced yeah. the Elemental Void cooldown, that's always a big thing. Yeah, getting that taken care of, so. Stay Green now has that window for, what, another 150 seconds here. Mage made at the top lane, he knows something's up. He blinks away before Corrupt the Disciple chases him down. Also, uh, Super KG was up there on Devour, of course, so... Wants to be safe than sorry. As he blinks away, we'll go back to base and get some regen on. Everyone's going back to base on Stay Green, it looks like. They're just all... They're giving up! No, not really. Uh, they're all regenerating at the same time, getting some items. Rally's here in the middle lane. He's, he's continuing to go out. As you said earlier, it looks like he got killed by Glacius and Devour once again, so... So, right now we have Devo in the top lane looking for a kill. Yeah. Kind of peculiar that Pewee was up there. I guess they were trying to get, get a gank together, but Pewee says he's wasting too much time. Ports back bottom of the farm. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this CD is pretty... Ex they do have a lane or bottom, but if he goes up far enough against the bubbles, he is pretty... Ex they could kill him with just one teleporter. Hook. So, hook. yeah. I'm sorry, I was just waiting for the hook to happen. You know what's going to happen lane. right here. There's the hook, and there's the follow-up. There you go. <laughs> he was so patient. It eventually happened, so. Sorry to cut you off. Mage oh, I mean, I wasn't saying much, but Invis Rune on uh, Engineer, I 
don't think the Legion, yeah, the Legion team does not see it. Oh, bottom lane, what's going on? Tempest, Tempest in the field. Oh. He can make it away. No! <laughs> oh, oh my god, that was so close. That is unfortunate for Engineer. <laughs> Very close right there. And that's a kill, pool, kill field cooldown, so that means uh, pretty much all the lanes are that just that much safe for the farm and be yeah. a little bit uh, too far up. But we have Rally rotating in the bottom lane with the ultimate and with this team. Yeah, corrupted. He just got he purchased the energizer. It's being delivered right here, so I don't think he's gonna get it in time. But as we just saw, you talk. I mean, no kelp field here. That could be the difference maker. Are we gonna see ports coming in? Yes, one port coming in, two ports coming in. Corrupted the side, but will he be able to take this damage? Energizer not here just yet. He's trying to take it. Not gonna happen. The energy field goes down. The hook, nice hook on a rally right there. His capels on cooldown. He's gonna be locked down. Ophelia's touch not gonna save him this time. And so at least they get a counter kill out of it onto Rally. But kill on a PV plan that corrupted. Good news for Stay Green at least. Find more and they for forced me. a lot of teleports. Uh, it wasn't an ideal situation, but it was definitely a worthwhile trade. Yeah. Mage man at the top lane. He's got his. He's got his life too. What? What? What do you think? Uh, especially with the way this game is going, does he need something like that helm here early on, or are we gonna see his right root cleaver? Uh, I mean, I, I don't think they can afford to go helm. I think he has to go battle fury because he needs to get that takeoff farm. And if it's just a little bit late, oh, is he in trouble? He is. Oh, the follow up stuff. Yes, the tempest ultimate. <laughs> oh man, he tried to blink several times, but the lockdown was just a little too much. So he, okay, so he got stunned twice by the Glacial Blast okay, yeah. before the Void. Screwed him up, yep. Rocket Drill, Glacial Blast into a Tempest Ultimate, basically, is what happened. Uh, by the way, real quickly, I actually want to plug this. Uh, there is a uh, an official thread for the Grand Finals here in the Competitive Forum section. Definitely check it out. It's made by Beef. So you can chat about it over there, get some information and whatnot. As well as watching it on the cast. We see right here, Hook Attempt trying to save Lowstone. Not going to hit, but Lowstone has a haste turn. He's running away. Rocket Troll goes out, but he's not going to port with it. Instead, he just continues to run. And it looks like that'll be that. So, Stinkerin was chasing for a little bit right there, but the haste turn Lowstone. Hard to catch up to him. And he makes uh -huh. his way to the bottom lane. Just something. No, oh, wait. Huey might be in trouble, Tom. Is he? Yes, he is. Corrupted Disciple being locked down. Calfield is out. He's trying to run in circles. Not gonna happen. A low stone for today, but couldn't get there in time. So he again falls. That's his second death, just like Mage Bane. Both of them have two deaths here. Uh, yeah, but I was gonna say, Pewy is really struggling for farm this game. He won his lane. They took the tower, but he's at subpar 300 GPM. He's been really having. They're not uh, stacking and pulling this pull at this bottom lane. They're not regaining lane control. Mm -hmm. He's not static farming the lane, and Tempo still needs a jungle at this point in the game. So. Lions is doing great right now, but QE is not, and they can't. They need the CD to take off a little bit better. Yeah. What is he sitting at? Only uh, 277 gold per minute. Jeez. Yeah, I thought he would have been higher. Actually, a lot of that had to do. I mean, he talked. He ported to the top lane because there was that fight taking place. He ended up not getting there too late though, and then he kind of stayed up there a little bit and didn't really get the best farm. He spent a lot of time up there, and that definitely hurt. And obviously, the death that he just had also hurt. So. 277 gold per minute kind of makes sense when you break it down. Overall team picture, though. Obviously, Lion Esports Club pretty happy with where they're at. As a Devourer, he's got Steam Boots, Power Supply, Bottle, and a Mystic Vestments. He has a lot of build-up build up items here, and he has 1,400 gold saved up. You think of the uh, the Shaman's Headdress here? Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I, I know he likes Tablet. I guess he could go for the Burial Idol. I'm not really sure how Super KG plays his Devo. Mm. You think I would know, but I actually don't. <laughs> oh, Glacius is gonna fall. Or no, he's will. not. Devar says it, or will he? Oh, and he locks down Rally as well. He's like, Glacius, run! Run, Glacius! Glacius coming back, and Devar is a big ass mopo right here. We see the energy field going down. Oh, the man and rift to finish off Devar. Corrupted Disciple oh, was gonna return kill. Here we go in man mode. He takes out Rally. Now he's on the run. Freeze on a Mage Bane. Tempest coming in. Lost on Shadows from the head smash. Mage Bane, one auto attack. He goes down to the Tundra Blast. Glacius finishes him off. But, but Bubbles in the background cuts them off, gets to go to Glacius, but now Philly's in trouble. Buyback on Swiddle Mounds. Yep, they're not afraid to use buybacks. Lodestone will go down. Corrupted Disciple oh, comes back in. What a chaotic fight right there. As he, he picks off Engineer, he is going to be chased. Rally's on the run, uh, trying to chase him, that is. Two seconds on that Compel. I don't know if he's going to be close enough. Yep, Energizer. And he's going to be fine. Will he dive, though, is the question. They don't have any TP just yet. Devour's up in two seconds. He can TP. Oh, TP, TP, TP. 
Oh, he's gonna be fine. The Legion takes Ooh. down a Hellboy and they get a tower. tower by the tower. Yeah. I think um, they definitely won that team fight. A buyback. Yeah, they got a tower kill. I'm not quite sure. We got Pewee got away. Tempest got away. So. Good fight by Lions and Mage Main died. That's a, definitely a big game breaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, the the way this game was going going into that fight is is more reason to see. You, you look at Lions, 66 on Coldy now, and 4,000 experience lead. And, you know, you talked about Pee Wee how if anything he definitely needs to look to recover his farm. Was a struggling thing. He's now at 312 gold per minute after that, and he actually picks up a quick blade here. Shaman's headdress is finished on Devour, by the way. So he does just go straight into that, becoming even more of a tank here, as well as the four charges he has on that cadaver armor. So you're not going to do a whole lot of magic damage to him. I mean, if there's one thing going for Steady Green's favor, it's that at least Super KG is not snowballing. He's yeah. being effective, but we've seen in like Super KG Evo games where he just like completely takes off. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see. Well, they're getting an ancient actually. <laughs> As, uh, trying to farm with that, but. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that, that is true. I mean, he's not taking off, as you put it by any means. Look at what he's doing right here. Still some ancients right here and taking them out one by one, so being a little crafty. I don't even think that's worth it, considering Shade Green can't really even farm ancients effectively at this stage of the game. Yeah. They didn't say blocking any uh, stack down, but it is triple stacked here, so... Stay green. If they, as a team, they most certainly could, but yeah, maybe individually, not really there. Rune Cleaver is going to be the option of choice on Chessie, by the way. He has a sustain air. There's a one broadsword. I think it's one broadsword. Yeah, it's on the courier here. I don't think he has the full. Actually, he might. I think that might be the one on the courier, and then he has one on the stash. It wasn't put on the courier. I don't know. We'll have to double check that, though. But bottom lane in the meantime. We got, we got a tower push going on. Lion Esports Club feeling pretty confident right here. They got Tempest Ultimate. They have Astral Bring a Sorcery. They got the Shaman's Headers on Devour for the front lines. Over to the side, look at this. Lowstone finds some food. Oh, the hook hits Lowstone. No, that's bad. He activated his Shadow Storm and it exploded right as he got pulled in. So. Oh, Invis, uh, the rally. This could be a big fight for Stay Green. Oh, where's off? Where's oh, right. off right there? Tower does but go down. He cleans up the trees with a combo. A nice hook on Engineer right there. He kicks down. He's going to be far for now. He has an energy field. No, we can't get it off. No mana, actually. Bubbles jumps in. Kelpha goes down. Kondo is being applied by Crystal Disciple, though. There we go. In the meantime, a Devourer is rocking down Mage Bane. Mage Bane, that Tempest all to make an extra lock him down. He will fall. The hook hits Rally. Super KGE is on fire with those it's hooks. Massacre. Everyone is alive for Lions. Everyone dead for Stay Green. Other than Bubbles, who did he buy back? He did. So that was that was a genocide for Lion Esports Club. Wow. And all five stay alive. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just huge... Uh by Lions, and uh, Team State Green just don't have enough items, really. I mean, Minot's still struggling to farm an Astral at this stage of the game. Yeah. Mage Green without the Cleaver. <laughs> Swinovons uh, has just court, like, uh, Steam Boots, Vestments, Power Supply. Same thing as Bubbles. They're just all very underfarmed at this point. Yeah. It's They're going to hope for the Mage Bane Factory, I think it's safe to say. <laughs> get that Rune Cleaver on him, get the camp stacked as much as possible. Hope to buy enough time to... To overwhelm eventually in that late late game stage but obviously Lion Esports Club they're a smart enough team and they're feeling pretty good right now clearly as far as uh, what they need to accomplish and that's just keeping up the pressure keeping up their momentum 25 more 100 gold on Corrupted so he's he, I mean I assumed it was going to be a firebrand into Geometer's Bane even but he hasn't actually bought it just yet so either he's just he really focused or... bringer, I suppose yeah. I don't think it really even matters what he buys. I don't think uh, Team State Green can take any team fights until they get Mage Bane farmed up. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah, he's just pulling up a crap ton of gold. So there's the Firebrand. And again, it could be Searing Light. Dombrey, even like you said, could just be a Geometer's Bane. We'll see what he goes. Uh, ooh, Tempest runs into Rally. He's stunned first, but now Rally goes back on him. He's trying to seismic slam. Kelpio's down, but guess what? Here comes Losa. He jumps out with the portal key. Bubbles in trouble. Bubbles in a lot of trouble. Shatters him. Nice take cover. Timing by a limp. Will it be enough to get away? Head smash comes out. Nice stuns from Tempest. And nope, bottle charge is still going to be enough. That's well. Hook on a rally right there. He's going to hold to him. And rally's in trouble. Locked down. The mana ripped on the devour. Not going to be enough, though. Rally has already fallen. Engineer comes in with the, with the energy field. But it seems like Stigan is really desperate here to try to make something happen. They're just trying to save themselves, if anything. And actually, oh, Engineer gets away <laughs> at the last second. But yeah, stay green playing on their heels, man. 
And that was not a fight they wanted there. Uh, yeah, they don't feel comfortable just like seeing lions, you know. We're just gonna farm up and, you know, you, you'll push when you're ready. But then they're like, screw that, we're gonna take the game to you. We're gonna make something happen. And if, if we we're successful, we're successful. But if it doesn't work, well, we're going to game two. Yeah. But, you know, it's not over yet. They still have a little bit of time to try to make something happen. They do, but uh, it's, you know, it's obviously, again, this is a position that Sigrid's never really been in, um, or at least for a long, long time. The fact that they came from the loser's bracket here, they're already down one nothing. A loss here means you'll need to win three games in a row to be the, to be the champions, is what it comes down to. So, obviously, they're going to try to stick into this one as long as possible. They want to tie the series up, make it a new best of three, if anything, but Lion Esports Club definitely came here to play today. And middle they're lane. showing that, yeah, middle lane devour says, I'm tanky, damn it, I'm gonna live! No, you're not, buddy. You ain't tanky enough. Maybe deny himself. That it doesn't happen though. <laughs> so he played a little bit out of position there. Stagrin doing a good job of collapsing on him though. And actually getting a kill. So that, that's a that's a step in the right direction that Stagrin needs. Get the pickoff. That's a kill for Chessie. Uh Minus got his Ashla off that, so Chessie will have the cleaver after this creep wave. About I don't know, eight minutes late, ten minutes late, something around there. But he, if he can just delay the game, get up a man, Geo Bane, and get up a Shrunken Head, they might be able to take this one. Yeah. Let's see the top tower. The Legion takes down the right there. Tower. Was start, making their way over, but couldn't get there nearly in time. And yeah, I see Corrupted Disciple, 18 more hundred gold saved up. Again, if it was going to be a Prosper, and probably would have had it by now, but. So I might just go to Firebrand into the Shrunken Head route here. I'm going to try to just play safe at this point. Lodestone, 2,700 gold saved up, and that's already with that portal key. Rune Cleaver, finally finished for Chessie. So it's better late than never, but he just gets it at 24 minutes in, and again, that what does Rune Cleaver do for you? It just enhances your farm, but that's not a, that's not a fighting type item by any means, so they still need a lot of time. The biggest thing about getting it this late is it means he has to go a purely defensive item next instead of getting the Geo Bane, which increases his damage output. Yeah. He's gonna clean up the elemental layer for extra farm. Oh, he's in trouble. Dead. There's a oh, the Tempest ultimate just a little bit later. Probably would have been stopped immediately anyways by Engineer right there. Hook gonna miss. He tried to save his teammate. It might not matter. You see Tempest tablets away, and now the support comes in. Lowstone jumping in. There's the rocket drill onto Ophelia, but they just can't get close enough. And so when it's all said and done, nothing happens really. But a big Tempest ultimate was used for nothing, so. That is time. Like, that's yeah. still win for Stay Green. You delay the game by three minutes. So if they can go three minutes without dying, you know, maybe they can close the gap just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, Lion is going to let off the throttle, though. They're going to keep this going as they, as, as they definitely should. And here we go into the middle lane. Creep Wave's going to be cleaned up. Hook attempt. That one's going to miss. One of the rare misses, it seems like. Super KG this game at least. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Stay Green are defending this tower. Maybe they're just trying to delay the push and buy time for Mage Green to get the top tower. But yeah, maybe Stay Green think they're not as far as behind as they are. It's a look at the kill, like what 19 to 11 kill. Like you don't think yeah. that's like too much if you're playing. Not overwhelming. And it goes back to Mage Green, but no. Oh Speaking no. Of him. <laughs> Codex on Losto, by the way. How about that? Yeah, he goes that when he snowballs, and it, I mean, it makes sense. He does, the hero does a lot of damage. Yeah. How about that? Has the codex. He used it right there to take out Mage Bane, and... Oh, that's a problem. Apparently, uh, Jonas a fan. <laughs> so, he DC'd, but at least he got the kill first. Because, like, if you look at his spells, I don't know how much damage his Shadow Storm does, but his, his Q, his Rocket Jill, Head Smash, and Codex, that's a total 1,000 magical damage. Yeah. It's quite insane. How much damage you're doing when you get that codex, or even without it for that matter, but still. Well, yeah, your ulti then is the 375 all the way to 475 of mixed damage at level 3, so. Yeah, it's a lot of burst on this here. And again, he got toned oh, down. Alright, let's get it on! But, uh, <laughs> he is still a very powerful hero. Very powerful hero, of course. Middle lane, Bubbles actually gonna try to get away right here. Has that takeover. Conduit's applied, though. Kelfi gonna be He's like, get away, get away, get away! Freeze comes out, though. And Limp is just going to be collapsed on. That's just a case of this team is just that much more farmed than you. And uh, Bubbles could not do much to get away right there. So Shrunken Head just finished on PB, by the way. He's having it delivered now. And that's probably that item where they're like, okay, let's just push here. Oh, looks like Jonas Man might still be having issues. Yeah. 
he was actually heading back to base right there, so he's going to DC and do a restart, so it'll give Stay Green a little bit of time here to kind of go over what they need to accomplish, but again, it seems pretty uh, self-explanatory. Buy time for Mage of Farm. That's all you need to do if you're Stay Green. That's well, pauses are definitely in the favor of Stay Green, though. The, uh, it kind of ruins Lion's momentum. Yeah. And it it is a, it does make a difference, actually, when you're in the game. You're, if you're this lead is probably too big for it to matter, but let's say if you have a small lead or, and uh, you pause the game for 10 minutes, it, it does put a tamper on your team's momentum and mm -hmm. stuff. So it does mean something. Yeah, it does. It, it definitely does. But again, it's issues obviously come up, and if it, it's on their side, so the team that it hurts is the one that had to uh, had to throw out the pause. So definitely not an abusive pause by any means. Just uh, showed us a fan. Gonna restart the computer and come back in, but. Again, Center, here we are. Uh, game number one, Lion Esports Club looking really good and just keeping up the momentum as they've had throughout this whole event, it seems like. And they're trying to take cycle number three home with them. And this is a team that uh, going into the cycle, let me just double check on that real quickly, but I believe they finished both cycle one and two at fifth, sixth place spot. So they've been knocked out a little bit earlier. I mean, again, this is also a team going into season two. They were one of their favorites as they had a great run to finish season one. They stayed as a team for the most part, going into Season 2. But, uh, you know, 5th and 6th place, not bad starts by any means, but probably a little bit disappointing for them in those first two cycles. Cycle 3, though, again, it seems like it's come together. And uh, I don't know if, if you've necessarily been watching them a whole lot yourself, but it seems like, again, what, what is a different factor going from those cycles to this one? Well, the obvious is Pee Wee joining uh, to replace mm -hmm. Flensmeister. Do you think it's that, or is it just really this team just happens to be playing together I don't better? really think Pee Wee is pl playing better than, say, Flensmeister was. I think it's just everyone keeps saying it, so I'm just going to get on the bandwagon and say team atmosphere. Or maybe it's the other players that just stop joking, or, or maybe they're just playing it better as a team, which is probably maybe it's a little bit of something. Yeah. Of everything. Like, maybe some players are making mistakes and then they stopped, or maybe there's some teamwork problem they had before. Yeah, you know, again, it's uh, not 100% exactly, sure why Flensmeister was kicked, what's left, whatever it was in the first place, but clearly something was off. I mean, you know, uh, team atmosphere, as you put it, and um, as far as playing together, it, it, could, it could definitely bring things down if you're all not on the same page. So I think that does have a lot to do with it. And not that Flensmeister's a bad player by any means. I definitely think he's still a great carry player, but um, it just, uh, if you're not getting along, it could definitely affect more than just you know, that that side of the game, it definitely affects the game itself, so, um, but Pee Wee, no doubt, I mean, he's a good player himself, good carry player, and, and he, it seems like he's found a nice home. Now, Hanskin said yesterday, once again, that apparently it's not official yet that he's even their new fifth, he's kind of just still playing with them, and whatever happens, happens is basically how he put it, so, I, I, I assume, though, you know, especially if they come out with a win here, it's may, maybe going to become more official, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, before we reconnect real quickly, I, again, I want to I want to uh, push this out here. This this uh, thread that Beef started on the competitive section. I know, I know this Twitch chat especially has been having some issues. Uh, so this is another way to kind of get some discussion going uh, with the uh, with the matches that we're currently watching. Stay Green versus Lions. So you put a little bit of effort into this to kind of give you a, a rundown right, of what this on. match is about. So big shout out to Beef right there for putting that together. Go to the competitive section of the forums and, uh, and participate. Check that out. All right, here we are. Looks like he's back. And uh, we're going to be good to go here. So you see a middle push coming in. Double damage on Devour, by the way. He's looking for a hook temp right here. Not going to find it, though. Stay Green doesn't seem like they really even want to defend this middle tower. <laughs> They're just completely spreading out and probably for the better, right, Sender? Yeah, I think they're starting to get to the point, well, let's just hope Mage Bane can carry this and we defend in base for, like, the next 30 minutes of this game. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to read what Stay Green's game plan is. Well, you do see while the three-man pushing bot or middle, they got Tempest and Lowstone rolling top. The Courier actually spots him. Lowstone's going into Ophelia's in a lot of trouble. Shatterstar's going to explode. Nice Minotaur stuns, though. By Ophelia, but unfortunately she runs right into Tempest. She's trying to survive. Codex comes out. They're turning on a low on the mana rift to finish him off. It ends up being a one for one. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, though, we do have a kill on Iglesias. They got the kill on Engineer, however, so support for support. And now Bubbles being chased. The Electric Tide to finish him off. Conduit up to five charges here for Corrupted Disciple. He still has a shrunken head, even. 
Didn't even use it right there. And so a couple of different fights going on, but Lion Esports Club, they end that on top, and that lead is just growing to a point of uh, almost no return, you gotta figure. <laughs> if you're staying um, right here. They got the tower, that's good. They they did kill uh, Jonas though, so it was a two for three, but Lion's heroes are worth more gold, so I think it was kind of even. Chessie yeah. did get the gold, so that's good for them. But yeah, losing map control is never a good thing when you're SG. Not that they really have any left, but the, having the towers up is nice, which they don't have anymore. Yeah. You see Chessie, just, excuse me, just farming in the Legion jungle and again making the best use of his time as possible. Has that mighty blade. As you pointed out, Sender, he's especially at this point of the game, he kind of needs to go that defensive item, so Shark Knight in the works. Oh man. If Loso just randomly guesses here, that'd be epic. Oh, he almost got it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Man, that presence of mind. He actually almost got it. If, if, if that board didn't happen a second later, then I, I believe he would have been stunned right there. So that was close. But Mage Man gets out and is able to continue to farm. But now you have uh, Corrupted Disciple. His next tier is going to be coming. Look at Glacius as well. Steam Boots, uh, Power Supply, <coughs> and a Tablet Command. That's a support's uh, dream life right there. As far as items are concerned, Pee Wee's in trouble. He was in a lot of trouble. He has an Energizer, oh, but no TP for 10 seconds, and... Interesting. They just that let him go. Kill. They just didn't know. Like, they yeah. thought they have a tower there, they have a backup, but that was a free kill. They just played it safe. You know, I and guess, it hurt them. Yeah, so Bubbles also dying in the middle lane. Maybe that has something to do with the two in the chat. They were all confused what was going on, so... Yep, he gets out, and look at this. Congor is going to be happening. <laughs> By Devour for now, but here comes Corrupted. We're gonna see if they can draw out Stay Green, perhaps. Or this will be a free Tower Kill, or a free Congor Kill, excuse me, one of the two. It's gonna happen. Uh, right it should be a free Congor. I, I don't see a, takes down a, a world for Stay Green. Contest is this. Yeah. Mage Bane's, Mage Bane's level 16, wow. So he is. He's at least got that going for him. It's level 16 mark. Uh, it's farming 330 gold per minute here, but Congor, as expected, gonna fall. Corrupt Disciple down. picks it up, and he also just purchased something. What's being delivered? He went light. He went light brand, so, so he's going for the light. Dawnbringer. Okay. Not necessarily. We see we see Searing Light a lot on these kind of heroes, and eventually go into something like a symbol. But yeah, probably. I mean, Dawnbringer on him, especially. Uh, especially with the token, you just want to spend your gold. True. Probably. My, I'm thinking to myself, when is Lions gonna break the base? Are they gonna <laughs> go soon? Are they gonna try to get their lead even bigger so there's no chance that they can um, lose the base fight? Mm -hmm. Or is SG gonna be diligent enough and they, are, is this gold lead not gonna get any bigger than it is now? You know, to answer that question, as actually Silken might be in a little bit of trouble. No, he's gonna be fine. Um, yesterday in the winter bracket finals, I know you guys happen to be playing at the same time, but Against Team USA in that first game, they had a cr they had the lead the whole game up until they lost the game, which I still think they even had the lead when they lost. That we do have initiation, yeah. Bottom lane, Mage Man's been locked down. Mage Man dies. Middle lane, they kill Glacius, but I think uh, Lion is just fine with that. <laughs> Mage Man for Glacius exchange right there. So, but going back to the point, they had they had a crazy lead. They had a wretched hag, a master of arms that were great farm. They went kind of a funky build. PBB was playing wretched hag. He built a restoration stone eventually. Uh, oh, good on the hero. Yeah, it, it was. It, 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 it's good, but he actually he wasn't able to use it effectively. In the end. my point being, they threw away that game arguably because they did not push a lot sooner when they had that bigger lead. So it's kind of like you look at that here now, and that, that's definitely in the back of your back of my mind at least. But I think this game is definitely a little different compared to that one. But still. Mage Band is a factor as always. Lowstone jumps in right here. Rally takes the pressure. Gets locked down. Saga the Cedo cancels Devour's ultimate right there. Grab the Disciple. Shrunk and head is up. He's looking for some charges. Tempest ultimate. Uh, it was canceled immediately, I believe. Nobody died just yet somehow. Ophelia will be the first finally. Grab the Disciple's low, but he does have the token. So he's going to fall right there. He comes right back up though. Rally went in for the kill. Rally's going to die as a result. Here comes Engineer. He got hooked in. He goes down. Double tap for Super KGE. And now Bubbles being chased back. It's going to be a near genocide roll. Basically genocide. Rally fights back. But Bubbles going to fall. Rally comes back in. I think State Green making a point though. This is basically game right here. Stephsonamush just kind of runs into death. 
As I uh, going for something, Glacial Downpour, baby! That did a lot. GG well played. Game one, goes to Line Esports Club. They're up two games to nothing now. And again, that means they only need to win one more game here in this best of the five. State Green will need to win three games in a row to keep being the cycle champions here at Haunt Tour Season 2. Will Lions pull it off? And will they take out State Green? Oh my gosh.